You've heard that it's not how long you sleep that matters, it's your sleep quality. But what does that even mean? Find out in this video. Sleepguards.com I'm Brandon and if you're new here and interested in improving your sleep quality, then head to sleepguards.com slash video to get my free animated video. The National Sleep Foundation assembled a panel of 18 experts. 277 studies met the inclusion criteria for a systematic literature review. The key indicators of sleep quality went through three rounds of voting. So in other words, the key indicators of good sleep quality which I'm about to share with you went through rigorous testing to ensure these are the most accurate indicators possible. So when I mention the value of an indicator throughout the video, I am referring to adults aged 26 through to 64 unless otherwise stated. So let's get to it. Here are the four key indicators of good sleep quality according to the National Sleep Foundation. Number one, sleep efficiency, which is sleeping more time while in bed, at least 85% of the total sleep time. Less than 64% does not indicate good sleep quality for young adults, and equal to or less than 74% does not indicate good sleep quality across all age groups except young adults. Number two, sleep latency, falling asleep in 30 minutes or less. More than 45 minutes is poor sleep quality, and 31 to 45 minutes is rated as uncertain as to whether it's good sleep quality or not. Number three is awakenings per night. Waking up no more than once per night. And number four, wake after sleep onset. Being awake for 20 minutes or less after initially falling asleep, more than 41 minutes and it's not good. But that's not all. The article posted to the public did not include napping indicators or sleep architecture. This was because there was less consensus as these being elements of good sleep quality. But there were some agreements, which drives me nuts that they didn't release it to you. So what I'm about to share with you is not available to the public, you'd have to pay 35 bucks for this. So I'm going to share the extra indicators to you now. The first category is sleep architecture, starting with REM sleep. 21 to 30% is a good indicator of sleep quality. Over 41% is not a good indicator. The next is N1 light sleep. Less than or equal to 5% is a good indicator of sleep quality and equal to or greater than 20% is not good. Then we've got N2 light sleep, equal to or more than 81% is not a good indicator. And then we've got N3 deep sleep, 16 to 20% is a good indicator, equal to or less than 5%, not good. And the second category, naps. The first, naps per 24 hours. Four or more naps does not indicate good sleep quality. Next, nap duration. Naps equal to or more than 100 minutes does not indicate good sleep quality. And lastly, nap frequency. Zero naps among young adults is an indicator of good sleep quality. While naps do not necessarily make up for an inadequate or poor nighttime sleep, a short nap of 20 to 30 minutes can help improve mood, alertness, and performance. Other important points to consider is that sleep quality varies among men and women, and some indicators of sleep might be relative rather than variable. Now if you've made it this far, it's probably because you're interested in improving your sleep. And the single best thing you can do to start doing that is to track your sleep. I recommend using the Aura Ring to track sleep because it measures the four key indicators of good sleep quality that I mentioned in this video. Not only that, it also measures your sleep architecture. As you can see, my sleep latency or how long it takes me to fall asleep is 23 minutes on average, which passes the 30 minutes or less guideline as an indicator of good sleep quality. Watch my Aura Ring video to learn more or head to sleepguards.com slash video to get my free animated video on 21 sleep tips. Thank you for watching. Okay, that must be it. I've been oil pulling for the last two weeks. Sleepguards.com